Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix problems using routing table principles. So, first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and try to ping PC3. I'm going to point these out for you. We're going to try to ping PC3 right here from PC1 right here, which means we're going to have to travel through a hub, a router, a switch, another router, another router, finally to the PC. Let's see how this works. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to desktop, command prompt, ping 192.168.0.0. And it looks like, yep, those were all unsuccessful. So, we are going to go ahead and use the emulation software here. Okay, and we're going to use show IP route. Okay, sorry, I need to be on the actual router itself. So give me a second here, go into the command line interface. Okay, and I don't see a destination for the one I just pinged, which was 192.168.4.0, so we need to go ahead and fix that. We're going to do that by giving it a static root. So we're going to do enable. Okay, give me one sec here. Right, give me a couple seconds here. Alright, terribly sorry for that. I This handout did not give me the password. So, I finally got the password, so what I'm going to do here is set up the static IP route so we can get the R3, or the PC3 to respond to me. And we're going to do that by doing IP route. 192.168.4.0 And the last part of the route is 192.168.2.2 And then we're going to hit end Now we're going to do show IP route command to see how that worked. And it, yes, it shows that it is on the routing table. So we're going to go ahead and pop a simulation out for this. So we're going to go ahead and actually hop onto PC1 and see if we can't ping PC3 now that we fix that. So command prompt. Try to ping it again. 192.168.4.0. All right. It looks like that we're timing out, so all four of those were unsuccessful. So what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and send a packet and see where we're losing it here. And we're going to do that by going ahead and switching to simulation mode. And we're going to filter the traffic. Crack. Wrong. Okay, and then the only thing that we need to select for this is ICMP. 
right here. All right, and then we need to select the simple PDU, and then we need to find our dest our source, and then our destination. Our source is going to be obviously PC one right here, and the destination is going to be PC three right there. And the way we're going to check it out. Um, should be able to close this tab now. Okay, and the way we're going to watch this run is uh, we need to bring that tab back up if we can. Did we lose our packets? We did not lose our packets. So, just give me one. There it is. And we're going. And you can see here that it sent it, it's broadcasting it, it's sending it through R1. It's going through the switch now. And then once it goes through the switch, it'll go through R2, and then on to R3, and it should reach PC3. And then we'll see what the deal is here. Yep, and it looks like that's where we lost it, is it R3? So, we're going to go back to real time here. Okay, and now we're going to check the routing table on R3. Now just give me one second here. second. Alright, terribly sorry about that again. So we are in R3 and now we're going to go ahead and check out the things on here. So what we're going to need to do is do show IP route. And it looks like that we don't have a route on this routing table for the IP address of PC1. So we're going to go ahead and give it one. So we're going to need to get into the configuration mode. And now we're in the configuration mode. We're going to do IP route 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.255.0. And it's going to be via serial zero slash zero slash one and then we're going to end that and now we're going to do the show IP route again and we do see right here that 1.0 is on there so we're going to go back to PC1 and see if we can ping 4. So we're going to go here and go to the command prompt and then we're going to ping the router. No, the other PCA, my apologies. So, we'll see what we have here. Alright, so yeah, usually the first one does time out, but we got the three replies here, so we're good to go. And we can, we're going to go ahead and view that ping in simulation mode. So we're going to go back to simulation mode here. We're going to do a new scenario. So give me one second. All right, I got that new scenario created. So we're down. We still have it. So only ICMP packets are visible. And then we're going to go ahead and add a simple PDU. 
we're going to PC1 is our destination, or is our source, and PC3 is our destination. And we're going to go ahead and check that out. Okay, we can speed up just a little bit there. A little bit more. Okay, you can see that because of the you want the green right here that means everything's been successful so it looks like we are good to go so I do once again thank you for watching my video on solving problems of communication using routing tables and static IP routes once again I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day